So from top to bottom in the Corsair 1, this is the Pro Edition. So from top to bottom what you get is the magnetic levitation fan at the top, one single fan that's an exhaust. You get your power supply here, the SF400 watt gold rated power supply, which is plenty enough to run all of the kit. Yep. Uh, we've also tested it for future operations, say for example we have a 1080 Ti version which is coming, yep. um, and we're not sure on the date of that yet, but that will also function perfectly with the SF400, plenty of juice. Okay. On the right hand side you have the full 1080, which is very similar to the functionality of the Seahawk, the MSI Seahawk, it's yep. an MSI one, but we've added our own custom cooling onto this one, so we can fit okay. it into here properly. Right. So so the MSI 1080 in here won't get over about 85 degrees under full load that's under good, testing um, and that's mostly done in our, in our lab as well as done by our reviewers and then myself at home as well in Australia doing it with 3D Mark on Steam. It's been perfectly fine as well. On the left hand side here is where we have a lot more of the components. So we have the SF400 that's here at the top. Yep. We have coming down to an MITX MSI motherboard. It's a custom motherboard for us mostly because of a lot of the capacitors need to be in certain places, not in the way of right, the yeah. of the cooling or of the cable management. Yeah. Okay. We have a 480 gig SSD in this model with a two terabyte hard drive as well. And okay. this is once again the 1080 model and that, that matters for what I'll explain later. And then also the Vengeance LPX sticks too. So there's two Vengeance LPX. So that's normal desktop memory. It's a desktop i7-770K CPU on a okay. Z270 motherboard. It's a normal desktop video card as well. So there is upgrade functionality. Right now in Australia, we're planning for you to be able to send it back to a service center and say, get some more RAM in if you're doing Photoshop or get some more storage if you really need that extra to be able to, you know, once again, if you're a content creator, because this, this PC is, is built kind of around everything, right? So it's got a 1080 in there, doesn't hit over 85 degrees. You've got an i7, 770K that doesn't hit over 75 under Prime 95, full load. You do that for an hour, it won't hit over about 75, 80. So there's no thermal throttling either. So there's actually a little bit of overclocking headroom here. Okay, and that's a that's a dedicated loop for both the CPU and the GPU? Yeah, completely separate, uh, yeah. all in one loops. Yeah, completely nice. separate. So they're, they're the, they're identical besides the way that the block connects. They're identical on both sides. Okay. So you're looking at about you're looking at about 20 dB under idle for the fan. Yep. 10 dB is a pin drop. 30 dB is a whisper. Yep. And then under full load, you're looking at about 45 dB. Okay. Um, it's slightly warm to touch when you're when you're pushing it as hard as possible, okay. but it's not really hot exhaust fan at all. And that's the thing too. The exhaust fan comes out the top, so if it sticks next to your monitor, you're not going to feel it anyway. Yeah. Like you might a PC yep. where you can feel the heat coming off it. Yeah. That's right. So the way it works because of the single fan is that the air gets sucked in through the sides here so there's, that's the only way for the air to come in so the air gets sucked in over the radiators over the motherboard and the graphics card out through the power supply out the top so it's taking all of that potential heat issue out the top yeah yeah out the top only yep yeah there is a small fan on the uh on the gpu as well as you normally get with these water cool gpus and we'll have a small fan on them too to help circulate some of that air but besides that that's it um, you can go up and and listen to them and you know even do a sound test we're starting to run some benchmarks on that of course there one over there so the reason i was saying multiple times is the 1080 version there is a 1070 version so the difference with the 1070 the 1070 is non-water cooled it has half the storage capacity and that's that's the and a non kcpu and that's the only differences so for the extra in australia it's about four or five hundred dollars for extra four or five hundred you get the k there is overclocking headroom so you can do that you get the 1080 the 1080 is also water cooled Yep. And you get double the storage, so 40 gig SSD, oh, two terabyte hard drive, nice. compared to 240 and one terabyte. Yep. So we're finding that the uptake of it of the 1080 is actually much more in Australia than the 1070 model as well. Yes. People are quite enjoying the people are quite enjoying the 1080 uh, model because they want to pay that little bit of extra premium. Yeah. So as far as the pricing goes, at the moment it's only available at PC Case Gear. You're looking at about 3149, 3249 or so for the 1080 version. Yep. And then you're looking at about 2649 or 2549 for the 1070 version as well. Okay. So the way that we've tried to make this price is is quite competitive compared to say some of the some of the competitive products that are out there but also it's about three to four hundred dollars premium on if you were to go to pc case gear m of msy and say build me this exact spec but in a full atx system right so for that extra for that extra price you're getting windows pre-installed it comes shipped in a box literally to get it out of the box it has a handle on the top you put the box down you unclip the sides you pull it up and there's your corsair one and it comes with the power cable underneath you plug it in you turn it on the bios says corsair one it loads into windows home 
Yep. yep. Yeah. You load. You load into. You load into Windows. It says Corsair One on the backdrop. It comes with the PC diagnostic tool installed. There's a 24-hour support line as well. You can call in multiple languages. English, obviously, being one of them. And there's a service center in Sydney with around a five-day turnaround. So your Corsair One yeah, yeah, yeah. breaks, well, the, 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 something happens to it, you're not sure what's uh, going wrong, you call uh, them up, so it's broken, they go, okay, uh, send it back to us or uh, we'll help you go through the PC seconds. diagnostic tool to talk about it on the phone. Yeah, yeah, Within five well, business well, days, yeah. you'll be uh, playing yeah, games yeah. again. Uh, very nice, uh, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also it comes with the installers ready to go for Steam, Uplay, etc. But they're not they're not pre-installed, so it means you don't have to search for them or download them, you can just double click and go for it. away you go. Yeah, so we tried to tried to have no bloatware on it really yeah. you know the only thing that might be seen as bloatware is the PC diagnostic tool yep. which you can uninstall it comes with Corsair link and Corsair key pre-installed as well okay. so you can control the lights on the front or turn them off you can look at all of the pump speeds you can look at the fan speeds you can look at all the temperatures around all of the case as well and monitor that too and that's all through Corsair link and then Corsair Q is the peripherals so if you do have the peripherals you can use it otherwise uninstall it you don't need it yep very nice. Yeah. So there is a 1080 Ti version coming to Australia as well. ETA right now is unknown. Yep. Um, we will be doing some work with HTC with the 1070 model as well, because on the front panel there is actually a VR port for okay. HDMI. So if you're doing yep. Oculus or Vive, you can plug it straight into there. Also, you can see this is an extender for the power supply, because the power supply sits up here. Yeah, right. You can turn the power supply on and off. Uh, you're not supposed to take it apart, that will void your warranty, but if you do need to take it apart, it's a single button clip here, you yep. press that. Yep. The top comes off, it's one plug, and then to get this laying down like this, it's four screws, and that's it. And I was talking before about the skins, so the skins, basically you unscrew the radiator like this, that comes off, and there's little clips here for the front too, and that clips off too. Yeah. Uh, as far as the MSI motherboard goes, PS2, a couple of, one, one dedicated VR port, super speed USB, LAN, also wireless, uh, optic, for sound, <laughs> a clear CMOS button yeah. as well, which is good okay. because you can't yeah. get into yeah. the no, you can't good. get into there, and also USB C. Yeah, yeah. right. Hmm. That's cool. There you go. That's the Corsair One in its entirety. Entirety.